Today's video is all about diabetes. There are estimated to be over 4 million people in the UK suffering with diabetes and the disease is growing rapidly with an estimation of 5 million people to be suffering by 2025. So today I'd like to go through what it is, the types, and how to greatly reduce the risk of getting it. Diabetes is a disease that occurs when your blood sugar, or what is called your blood glucose levels, are too high. Blood glucose is your main source of energy and comes from the food that we consume. A hormone called insulin that we make helps glucose get from your food into your cells and used for energy. With diabetes, the body just doesn't make enough insulin and the glucose stays in the blood and cannot get to the cells. There are three types of diabetes. Let me go through the differences. Type 1 diabetes causes your blood sugar levels to increase too much and with type 1 your body can't produce enough insulin to help lower the sugar levels. Type 1 diabetics need to have daily injections of insulin to keep their sugar levels under control. And type 1 is typical uh, in children and young adults, although it can appear at any age. Type 2 diabetes is similar to type 1 in that your sugar levels become too high. However, it's caused by lifestyle factors such as being overweight, poor diet or lack of exercise. And it's typical with middle-aged and older people. Type 2 is commonly treated with medication called metformin. And also having a healthy diet and exercising regularly will help manage your blood sugar levels. Sugars, fats and salts should be also kept under control and it's best not to skip meals. A third type of diabetes is called gestational diabetes which develops in some women when they are pregnant and most of the time this type of diabetes goes away after the baby is born. However, if you've had gestational diabetes you have a much higher chance of developing type 2 diabetes later in life so you have to be careful with your lifestyle. If you've had diabetes and you are, your doctor is treating you, you know exactly what to do. And this video is just for general information for everyone, but in particular will help the people that have been told they are pre-diabetic or borderline diabetic, which basically means you're moving towards being a diabetic. So how do you prevent diabetes? Well, unfortunately, type 1 diabetes is not preventable. However, these days it's normally very well controlled with insulin injections and medical support. Type 2 is definitely preventable. If you're told you're pre-diabetic or borderline, in most cases, you can definitely reverse this situation. There are many further health problems that people get with having diabetes, such as high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, eye problems, dental disease, nerve damage, foot problems, and Alzheimer's. So it's really important to be aware of how to prevent diabetes. I'm now gonna go through a 10 point plan of action to help you prevent diabetes. This will be worth writing down and then following, or just watch this again later, pause it while you write them down. Number one is reduce sugars and refined carbohydrates like white bread. Number two is eat fresh food and reduce processed foods. Number three is lose weight, especially body fat, and keep going until you're within your ideal weight range. Number four is exercise regularly. It will burn through your energy resources and help sugar levels. Number five is increase your water intake and avoid sugary drinks. Number six is stop or reduce smoking. Number seven is eat a high fibre diet, helps with weight management and helps keep your blood sugar levels down. Eight is make sure you're taking your daily dose of vitamin D, either on the diet or being out in the sun, say 15, 20 minutes will also help increase this. Drink a cup of black tea or decaffeinated coffee with a little milk per day. And 10, eat herbs and spices like turmeric, ginger and cinnamon. They'll help control blood sugar levels and also lowers your cholesterol. So there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful. Please review the plan of action and improve your lifestyle where you can. You won't regret it.